Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session on Ansys Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are going to design a disk break rotor by using Design Modeler of Ansys Workbench. We will start by double clicking on Geometry or you can alternately drag and drop it on the screen. Next, I'll go to Geometry and right click. New Design Modeler Geometry. Units, millimeter, XY plane, look at. I'll first go to sketching and draw three circles. I'll give them dimensions. The outer one is 170, the second one is 100. And the inner one is 70. Next, I'll go to draw and I'll draw lines starting from here up to the side. I'll draw it over all the four quadrants. Now I want to give some angle to these lines. So I'll go to dimensions and choose angle. So this angle I want to choose as 35 degree and this angle also is 35 degree so this is 360 minus 35 that is 325 degree. Next I'll give for these four lines as well. So similarly I'll draw these angles. And also for these two lines. So I'll just give these values 325, 325, so it's 35. Now I'll just delete them so that I can clearly see the lines. So angles have been given. Now I'll go to modify and I'll use the trim option. I'll first remove the excess lines. Now I am going to remove these surfaces and below I will remove these surfaces. So this is the shape of the disc brake rotor. Now I will go to modeling and I will use extrude option. I'll select the sketch, apply, I want to add material, I'll use the depth of 15mm and generate. Okay, I'll just change this to 10mm because disc brake rotors are generally very thin in cross section so I'm using 10mm.
Now on this plane, I am going to create a new plane. I'll go back to sketching and I'm going to first draw a line and this will be at an angle see the angle is 35 degree so I'll change this to 325 now I'll draw three circles here. And I'll give dimensions to the circle. Okay, so when this is red, it seems that this D3 and D6 are going to be equal in dimension. So I'll just click on undo. D3 I'll give us 6. So you can see automatically both have got changed. And this is also 6. I will give vertical dimensioning between the centers of the circle. So between these two and between these two. I want to give the dimension as 8 mm each. So this is done. Now I will go to model, extrude. So I just cut the material. You can see as for the shape of the circle, a cut has been generated. So once you extrude cut, you go to create pattern because I want to create this pattern all over this display rotor. I want to create a circular pattern. I'll select the three circles as the geometry by pressing the control button. Axis, I'm going to choose the space, apply. It's evenly spaced and I'm choosing roughly around 24 such patterns and generate. So that's how you can make this disc rotor. Now suppose if you don't want to see these sketches, you can just go to sketch, right click and hide sketch. So it's gone. Also you can come here and hide sketch. So all these sketches are gone. So you can see this is the disc brake rotor that has been created. So with this I end the session. I hope you have understood how to design a disc brake rotor using design modeler of Ansys Workbench. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.